Shopping center, Hendersonville. Accurate. Domo arigato. In Japan, serving tea is a ritual. I don't find. It's considered very sensual. Oh, I can see that. Cheers. You know, I'm so glad that you came out with me tonight. And I didn't even have to twist you. What? To be with you? Never. Never. You have no idea how good it feels to hear you say that. But I don't get it, Gary. What? A few hours ago, you were saying that we had to lay low, that you were worried that Cobra was hanging around waiting to make a hit. Yeah. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Why? I mean, if Cobra is as dangerous as you say she is, what is this? Corrupt cop yourself. What? Cobra? You know what? I always knew it. I knew that Jackie would end up getting blown away. What surprises me is that she pulled bigger herself. Pretty good, huh? You think so? Even without the help of a star reporter or a wire service copy editor, we managed to put out a credible evening edition. Well, who needs backup when I have Blair Baker? This calls for a celebration. How about uh, dinner at Carlino's on me? Sure. Good. Good work, team. Yes, got it done, Nick. Would you watch The Wire for me, please? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm still working on that info. Jake wanted me to pull together for the new reporter. Jeff, the guy who shows up. Where the hell is Jake, anyway? He called in a while ago, said to take care of something. It sounded really important. Important? This newspaper is important. Jake has got to get his priorities straight. You still up for dinner, boss? Yes, I am, but forget Carlinos. Let's go someplace a little quiet. Not at the way you up for that? Perfect. Good, because I have the perfect place. You like, uh, Japanese? Sure. Tonight? I'm up for anything. <laughs> Dr. Hudson, what's with this music? Excuse the bad beat, Cora, but since Dr. Winthrop came through in a crunch, he got to use the music today, no matter how stoic. I need a gown. Not gown. Uh, Dr. Hudson, I understand you diagnosed an aortic tear. You can thank Dr. Winthrop for his... Well, I, I looked at the aortogram. I think we should... I think that you should wait with... outside, Rita. Keep me posted on his BP since we're maintaining him on a hypotensive level. How much money has he lost? Rita, it is ethical for you to be in this room. You know as well as I do, you're compromising your self-care. I can't leave until you tell me he's gonna be all right. Rita, we will do graft thoracic aorta. Time is the essence, and your presence here is not helping. You're not answering my question. When I have an answer, I'll let you know. I promise. John, you've got to tell me the truth. Is Chris gonna live? O'Leary, call just came in from a D and D corner of Bank and Main. You check it out. Right away, Captain. Slug in the next one here. Goodness sakes, a hot shot reporter, man. No, I'm just a golfer. I'm just, you know, getting the material for a story they're working on. The kidnapping case. No. You know, I don't really feel bad about this girl. What's going on? Maggie? She's a really nice girl. You don't know Maggie. Dude. Hello? Nick, I'm here at Carlino's restaurant today. Knock, knock. Where's Henry at, reporter boy? Hey, you really forgot, forgot to answer my question, man. What are you doing here? I told you I need a job. Did you get a chance to talk to Boston about uh, any openings, maybe? Well, there's no more entry-level positions open. Starting last week, sorry. Last week, huh? Yeah. All right, well, thanks for trying anyway. Mm. I'll check you later, man. <clears throat> 
you know, it's, it's a weird thing here. What's that? This description that Maggie gave up to the kidnapper. Yes, so what? She described a short, tall, fat, skinny, young older guy with light and dark skin. <laughs> hey, that's strange, right? Yeah, it's downright spooky. The only consistent thing, thing is, kidnapper had an accomplice. Oh, really? Any, um, any clue who you think that might be? Maggie said it was a woman. With a shrill voice. Maggie! Maggie, darling! You can stop shrieking up the room right here. Oh, good. Listen, I thought that um, we'd have dinner together tonight. Would you like that? You know how I hate dining alone. Where is everybody, anyway? Rachel's in her room. Hmm. Had another squabble with Carl. Carl moved out. Moved out? What on earth made it... What happened? Do you know? Tell me. Tell me everything. Do not discuss it, Mother. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, I never saw them as a couple anyway. Carl probably reverted to his old criminal ways, and Miss Goody Two-Shoes couldn't take the heat. Of course, she's no bargain either. I mean, she must be tough to live with. She's so sanctimonious. Stop well, it! Get... What's the matter? Why are you so touchy? You're enjoying this, aren't you? You get pleasure out of other people's pains, because you have nothing good in your life, and you can't stand to see anyone else happy. Maggie, you're being unfair, and that's not true. Yes, it is. Rachel happens to be the best person in my life, and Carl, he's one of my best friends. Mm. And I'm your mother. What kind of mother does what you did to me? You're right, darling. Uh, a good mother wouldn't have left you with, with, with other people to take care of you What's all those years. On? Rachel, oh, I'm sorry we were screaming. I know you were trying to rest. Who could rest with Cecile in the house? Why don't you join me for a drink, Rachel? Might take your mind off your troubles. My troubles are none of your concerns, Cecile. Would you keep it down, please? One would think her husband left her. This is only a temporary thing. Carl's gonna come back to her. I know. Look, I don't have a lot of time. He's probably right behind me. Oh, Hudson, what's going on? It's Grant. Calm down. Come on up here. Sit down. Come on, sir. Come on up here. Have a seat. Sit with mommy. Right, just calm down a sec. Here you go. Now. Gabe, I had reservations about coming to see you. Please don't make me regret it. Miss Hudson, I just want to hear the whole story, so please start from the beginning. We're hurry, Mommy. Oh, he did. The judge was a fake. He made me go pick up the kids in the middle of the night. He said we were all going to go off somewhere together. And never come back. I was acting really strange. What do you mean, strange, Stephen? Oh. He pretended he was being really nice. Uh -huh. I so kept yelling at mommy. He was, uh, he was holding a gun on me. Uh, he just had me drive around, but you know, eventually we, we had to stop and I had to get the kids something to eat. We had pancakes. Yeah, that's when we, when we got away. Mm -hmm. I know this sounds strange, but that's exactly what happened. We left Grant locked in a men's room and, and that's when we got away, sweetheart. Watch your brother for a second, will you? Okay, I'll be right back. Grant is trying to kill me. He was here the other day. He told me how much he loved you, that you were engaged. He asked me to be your best man. I only agreed to marry him because I was trying to get a confession out of him. Confessed confess what? Grant shot Ryan. Please, I need you to help me. I need protection for the children, and I need a place to hide out. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what makes you say that he shot Ryan? Gabe, I don't have time to explain the whole thing to you right now. Carl Hutchins knows everything, and he'll help you with the evidence you need. I am begging you. Please help me keep children safe. McNamara! Hold your hand. You don't have to stay emergency. Get him out of here. McNamara! You saw I know he's behind me. Open the door. Please, oh, please, please don't tell Jake that I'm here. Do you know, Miss? Do you know? No, it's Get just he has this way of, of, of getting off Grant. Please, uh, are you help me and my kids or not? McNamara, open. I know you're in the office. Open the door. Quick. Mr. McKinnon. Thank you, Adams. What can I do for you? I need, I need to report a missing person. And who might that be? Vicki Hudson. Not doing real well. I'm looking out. Hi, it's Vicki. And Stephen. And Kirkland. We're not here right now, so please leave us a message after the meeting. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Bye. I appreciate your concern for Miss Hudson's whereabouts, but that doesn't necessarily warrant a missing persons report. Listen to me. Now, Vicky is not where she's supposed to be. I, I guarantee you that Grant Harrison has something to do with this. Where is she supposed to be? She's supposed to be home with her kids. I mean, they're all three. Well, why are you giving me such a hard time about this? I'm trying not to, Miss McKinnon. I just want to get my facts straight. Now, come back a second. Tell me, when was the last time you saw Miss Hudson? 
Hold on. Hold on. Mr. Life. McKinnon, please. Step back. No, you understand it. Wait. I think he's in there. I need to see. Okay, I just need to see with my own eyes that he's okay. She's my best friend. I've known her my entire life. If she's in there, I just need to know that she's okay, all right? And Vicky means more to me than... Sure, sure. Hey! I want my blood to see you! Yeah, it's all with me, kiddo. I've been so mean to you lately. Are we still friends? Well, let me think about that. Are we still there? Yeah, why not? Okay, what's going on? Pretty, uh, pretty sneaky the way you pulled out all the stops there to me to open up the door. Well, I... I miss every word. I've been wild rover for many a year. And I've sp spent all my money on whiskey and beer. And now I resign. All my repent. And I never will play the wild rover no more. Captain, I picked up this drunk and disorderly about a block from the cemetery. I You see, I'm not up for this. I'm, 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 I'm a steak and potatoes guy. What? It's okay. I want to introduce you to all kinds of new experiences. Mm -hmm. Konnichiwa. You speak Japanese. I am so impressed. Don't be. It's the only word I know. <laughs> Despite all the times I went to Tokyo, it's the only word I know. Dinner for two? Yes. Do you have any of the soji rooms free? You would like something more private? Certainly. Follow me, please. And you? It's a quiet night. We'll not be right back. Oh. Excuse me, do you know where I can find a payphone? Oh. Straight at the bar, mm -hmm. to the back. Thank you. I, uh, Domo Orgo. The salmon row is excellent. Highly recommended. I would stay away from low fish unless you're feeling a little dangerous tonight. I suppose this area very, very carefully. You don't know, want to dislodge the plug to save life in the first place. Look at this. Woohoo! Looks like this guy is lucky he didn't send me to the scene. If it hadn't been for your accurate diagnosis, I never would have made it this far. All right, then I think we're ready for the interposition grab. Take this very quickly. Dr. Hudson. You're still here, Rita. May I ask why you're using an interposition graft instead of a gut shunt? No, you may not. You may, however, trust me and my team. But there's a risk of plegia with the graft. There's approximately a 1% risk in either procedure. So I'm not going to ask you again. Please leave. And if you can't find it within yourself to comply with the rules and regulations of this hospital, I suggest that you at least be quiet and let us do our job. We're running out of time. Be dropping at 70 over 40. Oh, Quick slip. Don't panic. Don't panic. Just clamp to uh, Dr. Winthrop, please. No, just clamp that off. There you go. Cora, let's hang two more units of blood. You're losing him. You, you, you can do something. Get her out of here. Cora, get her out of here now. Two more units of blood going up. Talk. Don't contaminate me. Get her out of here. Okay, okay. Here we go. Now, give me the 4 0 sooner. Must be a pretty serious operation. The most important one I've ever seen. All right. Beautiful. Really beautiful work. Okay. I think that graft is in place. 
Suit your name like it actually belongs there. Uh -huh. Should we find Sato first? Uh -huh. And then you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sponge on a stick, please. Thank you. All right, Morgan. Thanks, sir. BP's holding. <laughs> 110 over 8. He's stable. It's good. <laughs> yes. You did it, Morgan. It's your surgical expertise that saves his life. Close him up. Oh, <laughs> right. oh, sorry, Matt. Oh. Maybe a uh, raw fish in your deal, huh? Oh, no. I was just thinking that I don't take into Japanese restaurants very often. Hmm. Why? Well, the men in my life have been mostly steak potato types. We gotta get down there ASAP. Let's do it. Wait, Gary. I know, I know, I know. We were in the middle of something. So the timing stinks. But as long as we get to continue our celebration later. Oh, I plan that. You and me, we have a lot to celebrate. Okay, I don't have a lot of time. I got this quick. You know, so why, why do I feel like I'm in the, in the middle of a movie? I mean, what is it when you and Gabe have already come up with a plan? Everything's gone wrong, okay? I, I've got to get out of here. Vicky, you can be fine. Gramp can't hurt you yeah, anymore. You know that. He can be very resourceful. What are you talking about? You got the police behind you. You got your best friend. Listen to me. Out. Try to understand this, all right? It's not just a matter of getting away from, from Grant. It's it's everything, you know? It's Bay City and the memories and Ryan's death. And it, it's just, it's all too close. Vicky, I've spent the last couple of months, you know, just trying to prove to everybody that I'm so strong. I've gotten on with my life, and it's really clouded my judgment, and I let Grant get close to us. And that was really stupid, wasn't it? I tried to tell you. I know that. I know. And I, and I put myself at risk. But even worse than that, I put my kids at risk. I can't let that happen. That's why I believe. So I'll, I'll go with you, OK? You have a life here. You know, you you have obligations. You, you have a business. You and I just know that matters. I'll go with you wherever you say I'll do this my way, OK? No, to you're me. not understanding no, you're me. Not no, understand. you're not. I'm trying to help you here. You mean that? Yeah. Then stay here, please. Oh, I need you to look after Bridget. You know, she's been through so much these last couple of months. First, the whole, the whole ordeal with Justine, and then Stephen was acting up so badly, and she was crying. Now she's going to lose me. And Bridget is going to be fine. It's not going to be gone that far. No, I'm just saying these last couple of months have really taken a toll on her. You know, she's not as spry as she used to be. Now she would never admit that, but she's not. First. Don't know what to say. You'll do it. Okay? Promise me that you'll stay here, Bridget, until we get back. Well, that all depends how long you're gonna be gone. How long I'm gonna be gone? Just not sure. Please. Look, hey, listen. As long as I know that, that, that you and Bridget are here, we'll all be back as soon as we can. You sure about this? Please, I, I am depending on you. You're the, you're the perfect man for the job. You really think that? You are it, McKenna. So, come on. Come on, just promise me. Unless, of course, you don't care about me quite the way you say you do, no, then. You can say that, okay? What do you mean I'm not great? When I thought I'd lost you, Vicky, you knew that. You know how I'm going to care about you. Excuse me. Is that some? Yeah. It's all been arranged. We'll be safe until the plan's in motion. The first phase is going to begin in a few minutes, and when that happens, things are going to move pretty quickly. Okay, well, you just say the word. We're uh, ready to go. Good. I'll keep you posted. Okay. Me and Mrs. Are you sure you can trust that guy? Yeah, yeah. I trust him. I think he finally uh, understands how, how dangerous Grant is. I don't think he's going to take any chances. Well, you just give me in the dark. Huh? Jake, okay, I, don't... I understand. I, I know, I know. No harm. No harm. 
So. What do you want me to tell my gun? I'll miss them. And that I care about them. I'll see him as soon as I can. I'm gonna call him. Right? Drop me an email. Yeah. Vows are but breath. And breath of vapor is. Then thou fair sun, which on my earth does shine, exhalest this vapor vow. Call you. I want you to drop whatever you're doing. This is top priority. I want you to put an APB on Grant Harrison. I really did mean what I said before when Rachel was here. I know I've been a terrible mother, and I want to make up to you. Why won't you give me a chance? Give me one good reason why I should. Because I sincerely want to make things right with us. Starting right now. Say you'll have dinner with me. Come on. You honestly believe one meal is going to make a difference? Maybe. If it's a very good meal. You're clueless, mother. Oh, Maggie. Look, I know my attempts are a little bumbling, but I really want us to get closer. Darn it, I want to know the details of your life. Things like, who, who was your best girlfriend? You sound like you actually mean it. Oh, Maggie, I do mean it. When I thought you were dead, I realized how little we knew about each other. Well, that wasn't my fault. No, it wasn't your fault. It was mine, all mine. You were never around long enough to know what grade I was in, let alone what my best friend's name was. I know, but... Karen. Celeste. Oh. A good try. I'm well, not proud of it. Oh, sweetheart. I just... I just want to know you better. I just want to know so many little things that I don't know, like your favorite color, your favorite movie, your favorite food. What? Oh, Maggie. <laughs> what a Hello? Zeal, listen, we got a little problem, all right? I need you to meet me in the alley behind Carlino's right now. Uh, well, who was it? Uh, that, uh, that, uh, you know, I, there's it's something very important that I have to do. I'm sorry, darling. I have to run out and, and, uh, just for a while. Why don't we have a late dinner, okay? That, that, that'll be great. Pizza. My favorite food's pizza, mother. Lux, Sinclair, right, listen up. The first thing we have to do is get Miss Hudson out of town. Make sure that her kids are safe while she packs what they need. That's okay. You can count on us. Good. Handle it. Good, listen. Whatever it takes, Bay City PD has to protect Miss Hudson. For Ryan Harrison. That's why two of my best are on it. Watts, Sinclair. I'm putting on both of you. <laughs> Mr. Hutchins. I want you to tell me everything you know about Grant Harrison's involvement in your son's death. By the sudden interest in your friend's activities. But suffice it to say, I've just been given new evidence that confirms my own suspicions. Suspicions? Of what? The ground? And why have you waited so long? Mr. Hutchins, I don't want to argue with you. I'm a cop. I can't arrest someone on suspicion alone. Now answer my question. What else do you know? Victoria's made contact with you, hasn't she? Where is she? She's out of harm's way. And the boys? The boys are both Ah, oh, thank God for that. Mr. Hutchins, what evidence do you have that links Grant Harrison in his brother's murder? 
tires. Tires? Yes, yes, tires. We found a set of tracks at the train depot. We checked them against all possible suspects. Tracks didn't match out. Yes, well, that's not surprising, is it? There's a gentleman called Dale here as a tire store. Shortly after Ryan was killed, Grant paid a visit to Dale's tire, where he purchased four, you, well, five, actually, used tires to replace the new ones on his luxury imported set. He paid for a rush job. He paid cash. Excuse me, officer. I was told that my husband was brought in. Carl Hutchins? Hutchins, yeah. He's in the interrogation room. Just answering a few questions for the captain. There's no question that Grant was on the trestle the night Ryan was killed. And there's a witness to this. My wife. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Your wife, wife remembers that night? Yes. Yes. Well, you'll be glad to not die. He, he's beginning to see the truth. Is Victoria who convinced him, no, not me. Is Vicky all right? Yes, she's fine. Sessions, will you testify that Grant Harrison was at the train depot that night? Yes, he was there. He was standing behind Rat. Did he have a gun? I don't know. I, I was strutting with Justine and she threw me off the trestle. I believe I was unconscious if there was a child. Thank you, Mrs. Hutchins. Great help. Out of the police station is wearing thin. Sir. Bad for the family image. Sir. Getting drunk isn't going to solve anything, Carl. Oh, nothing will. Cheers. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do that. What, may I? Uh, Mrs. Hutchins. If, if you just please sign these papers, I'll release Mr. Hutchins to your custody. I think we better if you kept him. <sighs> you know, only 20% of patients with internal injuries that survived the first hour. Congratulations. Back at you, Doc. <laughs> well, if it weren't for your shrewd diagnosis, Chris Hansen wouldn't be on his way to recovery right now. Morgan was not about to let the patient go. You should have seen him arguing with the radiologist about the quality of the chest x-ray. <laughs> the two of you give me a fat head. Well, you did a great job. You are the best. Mm. Listen, uh, don't the two of you have more to do? I think you ought to get back to recovery and check on Chris. Dr. Evans. Dr. Madison, Chris is in a recovery. I know, he's listed as stable. I just want to thank both of you. Morgan, your diagnosis is key, and the operation was intricate. Things got a little intense. Oh, but you both remained calm. You handled the crisis with care and professional skill, like two capable physicians. You did a good job in the OR. Thank you. Your son's general health is good, and I'm sure he'll pull through this with flying colors. We'll know more in the next few hours. Oh, by the way, I altered the rotation schedule. You're both off for the next shift. Thank you. You earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Hudson, I owe you an apology. Not required. Oh, I'm afraid it is. I... Doubted your ability as a surgeon. Well, I have a son too, Rita. I'm not sure how I would react to another doctor operating on him. John, I know we've had our differences in the past, to say the least, but I just want you to know that. What? I just want you to know that I'm glad you were the one treating Chris. You know, we think we're so powerful. Doctors, they don't fix anything. 
And then something happens to the person you love. You find out that we're only human? I'm just glad Chris is alive. Now maybe we can fix the rest of it. Um, see me first thing in the morning about that budgeting. Yeah, will do. Rita, go see your son. Come in. Lorna, hi. hi. I'm sorry, I was I lost track of time. Oh, I figured. So I. Uh, the fractal dinner. Thanks. Matzo ball soup? <laughs> yeah. They say it's good for whatever ails you. Well, in that case, I'm gonna need a very large bowl. Maybe it would help you if you let me know what's bothering you. They say it helps to uh, get a chest. Yeah, thanks. Actually, it's about Grant. Oh? Yeah. You know, I'm not sure that I know my old friend at all anymore. Sometimes the people you think you know best end up surprising you most. Yeah. Tell me something. Do you think he's capable of murder? Do I... Well, that's certainly a loaded question. Then again, Grant's a pretty complicated guy. How so? You know the stock he came from. I... His mother made no qualms about getting rid of anyone who got in her way. And do I think that he's capable of the same killer instinct? I'd say under the right circumstances. Yes. Troubles. You blew this is it. <sighs> what now? You really screwed it up in both of us this time. Uh, would you mind telling me why you dragged me out on such a cold night? Because you panicked. You blew the whole deal. Have you ever tried therapy for that anger? This is not ticked off, all right? You haven't even begun to see how ticked I can get to see. Look, let's, let's have no threats. I, I, we're both civilized human beings here. You don't get it, well, do you? Get what? Well, you're sprawled up in a mansion, all right? Totally removed from what's really going down here. I'm out on the street sweating it out. Like you're the Queen of England or something. No, but close. I think Queen really isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Listen to me. The joke's over, Cecile. The word out on the street is... They smell rat. And you gotta think how many think I'm gonna go down. For this. What, what do you mean they smell? Who? The cops? What, what do they know? What? Well, they're trying to put together that Maggie's story is nothing but a crock. Oh, well, I wouldn't worry about that. I mean, Maggie's not gonna reveal anything or right. let anything slip. She's She's got too much at stake. This whole thing is coming to an end right now. But it, it's already ended. Not why? No. What do you mean? Why? why? What do you, what do you mean? Money, money, money. There is no money, you fool. I, what do you think I was doing? Coming up with our little plan in the first place. I'm I don't have anything. You, I told you, you that before. Me, this is ridiculous. You give, but I have nothing to give you. Now just leave me alone. I sure it's me. Listen, I know it's late, but I was wondering if it'd be all right if I come out just to kiss Gregory tonight. Hey, you ready to patch up? Just got to see Cobalt Cardiology. We installed this pacemaker this morning. Oh, how'd that go? Compared to an aortic shear cake walk. <laughs> I am so up from that operation. I'm not ready to go home yet. What do you have in mind? Well, we are off for rounds tomorrow morning. Sleeping in what a concept. I was thinking. 
What about dinner tonight at the uh, Harper Club on me? Wow. You're really rolling out the red carpet now, aren't you? <laughs> well, after uh, your performance today, Dr. Winthrop, I think you deserve extra special treatment. That's the nicest invitation I've had in a long time. I graciously accept. Thank you. Okay, I'll meet you at the ER entrance in 15. There. Touch for you. Call her information if you know anything about her son, Ian.